This video is a supplement to the Biogram 4002 Commander remote control videos. This video covers the MK2 version that adds auto repeat functionality to the Commander. It shows how to install the auto repeat indicator and it also gives a brief demonstration how to use the auto repeat function. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. This shows the Biogram 4002 Commander MK2 hardware. The board is very similar to the original Commander. This here is the infrared receiver. It feeds between the plinth and the enclosure. On the other side here, this is the added function of the uh, Commander MK2. This is the auto repeat indicator. And this indicator here goes underneath the RPM indicator panel above the keypad and it uses the four channel indicator that all of the biograms have integrated but rarely used to indicate the auto repeat function. This shows the Commander MK2 functions as they are implemented on the Apple remote control that comes with the system. All the functions are identical to the standard Commander version except that the up button now carries the auto repeat functionality. The auto repeat function can be invoked at any time during playback or before the deck is started. One can program up to 10 repeats depending on how often the button is pressed in sequence while auto repeat is being invoked. The auto repeat function is cancelled whenever the stop function is activated. As I said earlier, this video is about the additional functionality of the Commander MK2 version. For installing the Commander board itself, please visit my YouTube channel and watch the Commander installation video. So what I will cover here now is how to take out the RPM indicator panel from this uh, location here and how to install the auto repeat indicator underneath it. Okay, let's get to it. So the first step is to take out the uh, RPM indicator panel and for that we need to stick in a screwdriver here and over here and lift it out. So on this side here it's good to protect the plinth with some cardboard or similar before you put the screwdriver in like I'm doing it here and so then it just clicks out. The next step is to lift it out on this side and um, please make sure that you have something soft here so you can place the um, RPM indicator panel on it without scratching it. So here we use a slightly bigger screwdriver so we can just turn it and then it comes out and now you can just put it on that uh, foam pad. The RPM indicator will be mounted using the screw so we have to take it out. That screw also holds the keypad down. So here we are with the uh, commander board installed and um, for how to do that please watch the original installation video of the commander system. Here now I want to focus on installing the auto repeat indicator properly and for that I want to show you a couple things. So the first is that the uh, indicator assembly here has a rectangular protrusion that holds the LED that fits exactly into this cutout in the keypad and the hole here that is used to bolt it down through the bolt hole that holds the keypad down. So sometimes um, when one takes the screw out the keypad shifts a little bit and then it can be difficult to align it properly again and get this bolt back in. A good indicator uh, for that the keypad is uh, in, in its right orientation and alignment is when it rests on this cutout in the uh, support and when it is parallel to the enclosure here. But sometimes one needs to shift it around a little bit and loosening the screw a few times in order to get it aligned perfectly with the other aluminum panels of the enclosure. So let me show you one more thing underneath the keypad. So here there is this uh, a plastic standoff and this plastic standoff essentially needs to line up with the mounting hole that is in the keypad assembly otherwise you cannot get the bolt uh, uh, through it. Sometimes it's good to use a strong flashlight or so when you align the keypad and look through the hole so that you can see whether it lines up with this uh, uh, standoff. Okay let's get to work. So I'm aligning it here now properly and then I put it into the cutout and I put the bolt in and now I can 
tie down the bolt. And that's pretty much it. So you see here now that this is lined up perfectly with the uh, support and we're also parallel uh, with the enclosure. Okay, before we put the RPM indicator panel back in, one more thing. There is this cutout in the plastic part that holds down the RPM indicator panel. And this is where all the cables go in and out um, from underneath this panel. And this is where we also want to put the auto repeat indicator uh, connection cables. So there we go. Okay, now we can put the RPM indicator panel back in. And so just align the cable here into this cutout and then press it down until you hear two clicks. And that's it. Okay, now it's time for a short demo of the auto repeat functionality. For a full demo of the command remote control system, please watch the uh, commander video that is on my YouTube channel and on my website. So I have my thumb here on the up button and by pressing the up button once, now I turn on the auto repeat function. And so the four channel indicator now is on continuously. And uh, that would give you a single play playback, a single additional playback of the vinyl that is being played here. So it would play once and then do it one time more. And during that second time, the indicator would be off indicating that we are uh, at the end of the auto repeat sequence. If you want to play it back several times, then you can simply press the uh, up button here several times, as many times as you want, up to 10, and then it will play it 10 times. If you select more than one playback, then the four channel indicator will start blinking in a one second interval. The playback function is always cancelled whenever you press the menu button, that is the stop function, or at the end of the auto repeat sequence. And that is it. This concludes my video about the 4002 Commander MK2. If you're interested in getting one, uh, just use the contact form on my blog at biolover.blogsport.com. Thanks for watching.